Hello everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here, and I just wanted to start this video off by just basically saying, hey, you know, in this particular video, I'm going to be using the Dual Realis Samachu Cicada Harazumi bug, cicada bug here. And in this video, you're going to really get a chance to see this particular bug in action. I love that top water, so in this video, you're going to watch me using this particular cicada bug here to catch and actually have just really a great time doing some top water fishing. This is my first time owning one. It's a Japanese lure as you know. It's about 1.5 inches, about one-fifth ounce, has, a, has some number 10 hooks on it as you can see right there. And really this for me is the best of fishing because I actually love using these type of top water lures because they're really sensitive and they offer a lot of excitement when something hits it. So in the video that you're about to watch right now, you're going to see some clips and some episodes of me using this particular lure to get some really big bites. But actually, my second biggest fish was caught on this particular lure. So I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to let you go ahead and get right at watching the video. So once again, this is Top Water Johnny. Enjoy the video. Also, as always, please like, subscribe, share with others. Because I'm always trying to grow, trying to improve, trying to do the best that I can. So go ahead, enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you later. There we go. Good hit. Trapped in the weeds. Trapped in the weeds. There we go. Woo! Good hit. Good hit. Yeah. Look at that. Straight up. Straight up hooked on the cicada bug. Got him on the cicada so that was huge man great hit great hit well there you have it nice little bass on the cicada cicada bug first time out nice top water explosion that was pretty exciting so we're gonna let her go There she goes. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. Just want to show you once again that little cicada, that little cicada bug right there from Dual International. That little bug is hot. I just got done getting a nice one on this right here, as you saw. So I just wanted to kind of show everybody that these definitely work on bass, and that was. That was pretty exciting. So once again, you know, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing. But I always want everybody to remember, make sure you keep your line tight. Because when they hit that top water, especially these little bugs, that's going to be a big bite. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. Woo! huge on the fly on the fly wow oh my goodness everybody look at that on the fly look at this 
beast right here. Oh my gosh, on the fly. What a big bass, big bass. Whew. Wow. On a little on the fly here on the cicada. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is a big fish. Uh -huh. Woo! Look at that, everybody. That's a big fish. That is a big fish right there. Let's get a measure on them. That is 4.28 on that big boy. That is a big one right there. 4.8. Woo. Not my biggest fish, but nonetheless, let's see here. Oh. Uh. Get a look at her. That's a big fish right there. Just wanted you to, um, whoa, wanted you to see this fish once again that I just pulled out. I want you to look at that. Let's, let's hold them up like that so you can see them right there. That's a big fish right there, everybody. Big fish right here. Big fish on a little fly, a cicada, which is showing everybody that you can do it. You can make this happen. everybody it's top water johnny just want to remind you here this was a uh nice big fish and look at this just so i can show everybody again on a cicada i don't know who said these little things can't catch big bass but that was 4.21 that's a big bass and this little bug did it on light line it was truly exciting and we'll just keep on going, see what can happen. All right. But that was really good. Top Water Johnny out right now. We'll, we'll keep on going. Is that anything? No. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. One. I got one. There we go. I got one breaking on the sides over there. Breaking on the sides. So he's a dink, a little one, but I got him in the in the lily pads. There we go. Got him on a. What's kind of different is just throwing a little swim bait over those pads, and he's sitting in there looking for action. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got that one. Got that one. He was hitting it hard. Black as night. All right. Black as night. There we go. He was hitting that. Wasn't a big fish, but we got him here. Got him on the, you know, got him on the tackler. Not the tickler, but on the, uh, you know, swim bait here. And uh, it's pretty good, you know. Like I said, look how dark he is. He's definitely hitting the minnows. So that was a good shot right there. Just playing these lily pads out here.
there we go. Bluegill. There we go. Now we're figuring them out. Now we're figuring them out here now. Got this nice little, got this nice little bluegill right here. Who's hooked pretty good. Uh, got him in the lily pads as well. Oops. Slipping out of my hand here. You know, less than a pound, but a good bluegill nonetheless. All right, let's let him go. Uh, nice little bluegill there. There we go. Uh, I'll get him out of there. <clears throat> Shoot. There we go. There we go. Got him out of there. Woo! Look at that. Got him stuck in the weeds. But that hook set was good. Good, strong. Good, strong hook set. Here. So, just want to show everybody that was another good one in the weeds there. And let's see if we got. Don't have my. There we go. And another. Good one in the weeds, and as you saw right there with that one, when I got him stuck, I just held, then I released it. The bass freed itself, and I was able to bring it on in here, so that was great. All right, another one bites the dust. Hey, everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here, man. This was a really good session here. I mean, it was really pretty exciting to get on that cicada to get that four and a half really it was really exciting you saw me catch a few more fish what I was really doing was throwing into those lily pads had a little swim bait and I was just working it across the top dropping it in those pockets so that that swim bait would go down there and flutter on them and then I was pulling them out of there yanking them out of there so that's really what was going on there had some strikes on the cicada but I just didn't get them in but I'm really happy about the first one the first throw I did because I hadn't even got out on the deck good and I just threw out there in advance. So before you get out to the edge of the water, just take a couple casts, throw out before you get to the edge where you're actually going to stand and fish because you never know what could be sitting right there. I had a top water beast sitting right there. So once again, it was pretty exciting. So as always, I'm going to keep trying to do these videos, make them work for you guys, share with you what I'm doing. Uh, also, be on the lookout because I'm going to be doing an episode called Tackle Talk Tuesday, where I talk about the particular lures that I'm using and how I'm trying to make those work. Once again, it's all about variety. I'm trying to do variety out here as a fisherman. I don't want to just fish with worms all the time. I want to try new things so that I can have that new feeling. And you know that feeling you have when you get that first bite on that new lure. It's so exciting. Well, I'm trying to use as many different lures as possible so I can keep having that same excitement. Plus, by using a bunch of different lures, then you start to learn what situation works for that lure so that as you fish more you become a more diverse fisherman because you start to understand which lures are the right lures so anyway like i said once again i'm gonna be doing please like subscribe share hit the button so you can be notified when i put up videos because i'm going to keep on doing this keep trying to make it work trying to keep it making it happen so once again my name is top water johnny and always remember this keep your line tight because when they hit that top water it's going to be a big bite all right, see you later.